Hi everyone, I'm humbly Anna Andrews here on the YouTube channel. And I'm trying to be quiet now in my video. And the reason for that is because my soul beautiful granddaughter, Olivia Ann Marie, um, is napping. She's taking a little nap. Grandma gave her a bottle and um, she had some eggs and a little bit of watermelon and now she's taking a little nap. And so I'm going to use this moment to uh, humbly shoot my videos while she's sleeping so peacefully. Um, you know, all my work and all my efforts that I put into my activism work, if you will, it's not for us old people, okay? The gig is up for us, I mean, and uh, I talk to people all the time about this. I say, you know, if you want to see pure energy, look at newborn babies, okay? But now, on the other hand, if you want to see corrupted and, and indoctrinated energy, look at adults okay and let them look at themselves and I know I was indoctrinated and I know once upon a time I was so corrupt too you know I mean I used to think okay drinking drinking alcohol was cool I used to think drink smoking cigarettes was cool I used to think smoking marijuana was so cool smoking out of bongs and all that stuff and then taking other corrupted chemicals was cool too never can get enough right um but I gotta tell you the party ended for me humbly March 17, 1990, when I was out partying with my husband. I thought it was just partying. Um, and we always threw parties. I mean, my family knows how to throw parties, baby. And like I say all the time, people, it's not the parties that get us into trouble of life. It's the hidden crap within our family tree mojo that we don't want to talk about. We don't want to talk about, hey, we have a therapist in our family, but is she helping to bring the, the relationships together? Hey, we have a teacher for special needs people in our family, but is she helping to bring the family together? Because we all have special needs? Um, no. Uh, are we talking about, you know, just using our spiritual mojo to bring people together and to heal uh, what's been unhealed? We're not doing it. Instead, we're putting on false eyelashes, lipstick, and just looking like so beautiful, but yet and, and organizing parties and then being the boss of the parties and saying, but you can't come, you, you know, everyone else is invited, but you, Michael, you can't come to the party. You can't do it. You know, we just can't have you because I'm so mad at you. It's so childlike, people. It is so childlike, and I just don't get it. Um, and I don't want to get that kind of mojo either because I know God, God did not tell us to misbehave in our sacred family trees. God tells us to get up, and this world is for everyone, everywhere, no exceptions. That's what my God's telling me. You know, and people say, well, Anna, what God are you following? You know, or what God do you have? And, I, you know, I said this this weekend. My God is the God that created the Grand Canyon. My God is the God that created Niagara Falls. My God is the God that created all these wonderful and awesome, so uh, wonderful places to go to and to see. My God created those. But my God also created all the cultures in the world. My God did not create a vanilla ice cream world, meaning only white people, being the right people. With the proper language, I'll have a spot of tea. No. God created Africans, Native Americans, Arabic. Um, I just want to go on an I Irish, uh, Scottish. God created such a... Neapolitan world that we're supposed to share and celebrate this and and God also created the United States of America See corrupt men and the proper English speaking people think that they created it Well the jokes on them because what happened this all this mojo of us coming together collectively and culturally Is gonna backfire on them from local to global one day and it may not be in my lifetime But it will because the spiritual realm is very much alive and they think they've been globally dominating something not anymore the party's up people no more proper tea ceremonies you know i mean i'm sorry but yeah i want to have a good cup of english tea but uh i'm not going to buy into the tony blair bullshit okay everyone knows the bushes and the blairs of the world and that corrupt queen of england sitting there has been involved all throughout history um creating drama, trauma, and chaos in our world and killing people and covering up the chaos and covering up the corrupt politics. But we can't cover up anymore. You know, on 9-11, America was brought to her knees. 
America was brought to her knees on 9-11, on 9-11-01. And I'm going to tell you, can something so ugly, can God do something so ugly with, and change it into something so beautiful? Yes, I'm here to tell you that he can. Hi, everyone. I'm humbly Anna Andrews here on this YouTube channel. God can take a mess and turn it into a message. And so humbly, that's what it is that I'm trying to do here at ForGlobalPeace.com. And I want to throw a shout out real quick to, to the cackling hen haters in my life that I have, and I know I have them, to the women that want to show up like all like, like they got their lives all together and everything because they got makeup on and every, their every hair is in place and what do I want to say to them? They're dressed right and they look right and act right and blah, blah, blah. Well, this weekend I was at a retreat and getting, getting ready to wind up and I genuinely wanted to say thank you to the host. Thank you, Sherry. Um, I wanted to say thank you to her and I meant it from my heart of hearts, see? But I, it took courage for me to get up in front of that group, of, big group of people to talk. I don't like talking to people in big groups. I like my privacy. I love my privacy. I don't want to be out in the streets doing protesting work. But my God has me. He's using me. And I'm trying to get out of my own way for him to use me. Um, but I don't want to be abused in the process of uh, corrupt people who are shady. And yes, I'm talking about shady cackling hens. Um, you know, I had, I mean, I had a couple of situations. Overall, the weekend went wonderful. But I gotta say, 97% or 97 of the weekend went wonderful for me. I don't know about others, but 3% um, of that, though, I had to give a break check out to a few people, and I, I'm gonna give it out. Because that's rigorous honesty, not rigorous dishonesty. And so, yeah, um, they wanted to tell me, you need to watch that fuck word. You need to watch that fuck word. You can't say fuck. And I'm like, really? I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let people tell me what, mouth, what words can come out of this mouth. Every day in this country, you guys, there's a word that's being used. And it's called K-I-L-L. -L. K-I-L-L-E-D. Killed. How many people are being killed because of corrupt political lies? How many people pet that word? Oh, let's pray for our soldiers in the Middle East killing people. You think that's okay? It's not okay. Jesus was the Prince of Peace. The commandments say thou shalt not kill. Still, bear false witness against thy neighbor. I know the commandments, and I li try to humbly live by them. So these people that have been indoctrinated by misinformation and disinformation all throughout history want to walk around like, I got this. I know what I'm talking about. You shouldn't use that F word. And I want to say this. This weekend at that retreat, there was a man who was a grandfather, hi, I'm a grandmother, who got up in front of the retreat with everyone and showed, said, my son gave me this t-shirt. And I'm not going to say the guy's name, I'm going to keep him anonymous. My son gave me this t-shirt and he showed it to the crowd and guess what it said? It said, spiritual as fuck. And everybody laughed because they seen it with their eyes. They laughed at it. They were like, yay, yay. And then he even gave it away to a lady who happened to be sitting next to me. Yay for all that. But then somebody else at the end of this uh, weekend, they want to give me a break check to say, you shouldn't say the word fuck, but we could sit around and cheer on a t-shirt that has the word fuck by a man. Grandpa, I'm grandma here. I'm just speaking truth. People don't like my truth? Too bad. It's my mouth God gave me. And I'm going to drop F-bombs if I have to. You haven't walked in these shoes, not one single footstep. You don't know me. Don't judge me. And don't ask me if I got a sponsor. Because I'm going to give it back to you and say, do you have a sponsor? And the reason I want to know if you have a sponsor is because I want to make sure I don't get her as my sponsor because I don't want what you got. See? I ain't stupid. And you ain't going to play me. I got enough enough uh i'm spiritually as fuck people and i don't need you to fuck with me in the rooms of fellowship 12-step work so what i want to say is this i'm not going to let the jerks the spiritual jerks chase me out of the rooms of 12-step work today i'm not going nowhere aa was funded by the rockefellers and in the aa books you even hear about war stories why don't you hear about peace activists in the aa books and meditation books on top of that. You'll never hear it because they designed it that way. They 
the rich mofos at the top that write books, okay? So you wanna look at me funny for being a peace activist? Look at me funny all day long. I gotta go.